Sup, and good day gamers, a formal bust here with Arid, a first impression. But first we have our sponsor, good old H2O, drink it up or die. Mm. Nothing better than water. Now let's get into it. Arid was released back in June of 2021, developed by Sad Viscacha Studio. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And published by Brita University of Applied Sciences. Yes, this is another product of uh, Brita uh, University of Applied Sciences. So I'm looking forward to it. Described on Steam as Discover the Mysteries of the Atacama. Explore the abandoned mining networks, evade the scorching sun, and survive the environment in the most arid place in the world. Arid is a free survival game made by students from Brita University. Cool, cool, cool. And I see they're uh, adding in, you know, the, in the description. It's from Brita University of Applied Sciences and, you know, student-made product. Very good. Described on Steam as open-world survival craft. Sorry, not described. Uh, tagged on Steam as Open World Survival Craft, Survival and Exploration. It is uh, free. Very, very high expensive price of free on Steam. Um, and they also very nicely took the soundtrack as and put it as DLC for Arid, which is also free. So if you just like the music you're hearing today and don't want to play the full game, they got they got soundtrack on there for you. And there's apparently some Moon Valley release that is an update to this game. So, I don't know what that's about. We will probably find out. And yes, they have a Discord if you want to join it. Um, thank you for playing Arid. As a team of students, we are very thankful for all the help we received from the community during the early access. We added as much we added as much we could during this period, but unfortunately everything must come to an end for now. Feel free to join our Discord if you want to share your feedback and follow the future of Arid. You rock. Sad Viscacha Studio. Yeah, nice, nice to see that little update there. Discord, if you want to catch up with them and see what they're doing. And this is release 1.0.556, so a couple releases since the initial one. All right, credits, we'll check those out if you want to. Options. Very, very, very long list of options. I like this. You got your gameplay stuff, sprint, crouch, toggle, hold, to interact, crosshair mode, blur effects. I'm going to try the head bobble. It might you know, unsettle me, in which case I can change it. Uh, audio, we got master, effects, music, dialogue, UI, like, this is nice, this is good, very good. All the stuff, all the stuff. Would be nice to see, um, some other stuff, but, like, this is the bare minimum you should have in a game. There's all your different, um, uh, channels of audio, and how you can control them, uh, volume-wise. Display, sorry, mic bump just coming in there. All right, we got windowed mode, full screen, borderless, or uh, windowed. Nice to see. Uh, resolutions. Um, yeah, this one thing I dislike that they did in this menu is clicking back and forth. Nice to see some drop downs, but you know, not as bad as some uh, menus. Resolution scale. Gonna leave that at 100. V-sync. Enable FPS limit. Nope. No. 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 Field of view. I believe this goes down to like 70 and goes up to 115. That's pretty good for field of view. Uh, brightness, um, there is no, I mean, I think brightness in this game is going to be more of a thing of, like, not being blinded by the sun, but, I mean, there's also the dungeon, not the dungeons, <laughs> mining networks, so it'd be nice to see a, uh, brightness screen or, you know, a couple whites, uh, white square, black square down here like there normally is, but it's fine. Um, graphics, uh, quality presets, I went with Atacama. I don't know, you know, I see it's the highest, it's above very high, so we'll see what that does. Um, controls, got full uh, key binding on the keyboard over here if you want to. Mouse sensitivity, um, invert mouse, uh, X and Y axis, and yeah, it appears there's controller support. Uh, I'm not going to be using the controller, but it's here if you want it, so that's good to see on any game uh, that's on PC. So yep. That's a ton of options. Like to see that. Like to see that in any game. But let's get into the actual game. New game, here we go. Ah, okay. Difficulty preset. I have explorer, which is suggested. Tourist. So you have a tourist, explorer, survivalist, dead man walking. That's good. We're gonna go with suggested. Uh so you got hunger, and I guess you can yeah, you can do custom. So you can do custom anything. If 
you know, you find hunger you don't like or thirst or whatever, you can make it easier. So it looks like we'll be playing with hunger, thirst, energy, sun exposure, cooling speed, day length, night length. Okay, so you can have really long days. Okay, that'd be cool. Uh, objectives enabled and hardcore less UI. No, we're going to keep that off. All right, that's what we're doing. Explore difficulty. Yes, please. Start a new game. Watch out for sun exposure. A sunburn will affect your well-being until you heal from it. It's true. Oh, they mean in the game, too. Yes, yes, in the game, I guess. Yeah, that would be true. Mm. So, yeah, it looks like we got desert. Just desert. Desert mountains. Some cacti and some rocks. Gonna go great, I'm sure. H2O, baby. Longer load time than I would have hoped, but, you know, it is on the highest settings, so <laughs> might be my fault. <laughs> Give me a chance to uh, drink some H2O, though, so it's worth it. There we go. 15th of May, 1931. 8,000 feet over the Atacama Mama, Desert. This is Tiger. Do you read me? Take off the time to bump gum, Tiger. Over. I'm seeing storm clouds up ahead. Nothing like the weather report said. I'm thinking we can go west, hug the shore, dodge the Atacama. Over. So there's some goo. We fly around it. Company said we go east, and that's it. Over. I'm telling you, Bubba, there's some real bad juju going on here. I... Christ! What is that? Damn, dust cloud came out of nowhere! Out. Don't black out. Basta de carrera, se acabó la timba. Un final reñido, yo no vuelvo a ver. Okay, so we fly in a plane, and oh my gosh, I do not know how it is. In. As far as crash landings go, that was textbook. Where the hell am I? Okay, character has three main parameters. Bounce through use of food, water, and other items. Well-being represents your health and mental condition. It reaches zero, your character will die. The character is well-fed. Well-being will increase over time. If either nourishment or hydration reaches zero, well-being will decrease over time. Hint, be aware that if you eat and drink, there's a chance it could poison you. Oh, good. Okay, so... I'm impressed at how well together this plane is after going into this canyon, but hey, I'm no air, you know, specialist, so whatever. Medical uh, supplies. God, I got busted up real good. The crates should have some first aid supplies. Oh, the sack is over here. This is my container over here, so just take all. Okay. Are those footprints? They are footprints. Okay. Looks like I need to make my own way out. Should get my tools. 
probably ended up on the other side of the plane. Go, need some hydration. So tools on the other side of the plane. Don't want to get near cactuses. That would be bad. Okay, use a bandage to heal. Let's go to the inventory. Use that. There we go. Okay, I guess these are all... Okay. I guess I got everything I can get. So, empty, and I've got land. Okay. Too dark in here. I'll need a torch. This torch to light up the environment at night in the caves. The torch will consume oil over time. The interface will... Okay, show you my amount of oil left. If your torch runs out, you can use oil in your inventory to refill it. Okay, but like... How? Okay, it does get pretty dark. All right. Whoever's in there, I come in peace. Oh, water. Thank God for small favors. I'm gonna need to ration that. If I can disassemble, but it would burn energy. Okay, so hold on. Let's just assemble it. I guess I only have my hand, so my hand will do it. Get some clay. All right. Ooh. Ah! That looks ominous. Cave note. Roberto Martin Julio. I don't know their surnames. Must remember them. People in Papa Hoopa must know from Maria. And you said Mom's Spanish lessons were a waste of time. Right, Dad? You got a spear? Yeah, sure, I'll desecrate the dead. It's fine. It's totally fine. Barely been here an hour and already taken from the dead. Sorry, fellas. Cave paintings? Foreman's note 55. The sandstorm seems to have turned away. I can hear it still howling in the distance. Maybe it got tired of going after me. Evil, evil sh thing. You were right, Bruno. It does not. It does reek of evil, but we were too overwhelmed by our own sins to even sense it. Going out now. Time for my repentance. Okay. Oh, crouch. Yep. Okay. Don't need my torch. Oh, now I'm on the other side of my plane. Okay. I swear it looks like that's something I can mess with. Nope. Just, okay. Scavenge crash site and look for a way out. Well, if I got another plane, I could probably fly out. Alright, now I gotta just find what's left from my cargo. That's good. Ominous, but good. Can I... Yeah, is there anything up here I can get? Hey, look at that. Plenty of stuff. Another box. Yeah, I got plenty of fucking cargo up here, it seems. All right. Oh, okay. So only one of Okay. Oh! Probably be helpful. And I have a full thing of clean water here if I need to refill that. Shovel. Good. Got a shovel and a pickaxe. Alright. Okay, those are... Set dressing. Not... Yeah. Oh, oil. Very good. Very good. 
Alright, this is going well, actually. Nice survival game, because you plan to start the game off with almost a full inventory, I think, right? I need a tool to break the cave entrance. Guess that would be that. Be aware, using tools consumes energy. Oh, I need... Top of all my water. Um... Yeah, I know I can probably break it with the... What is it? Pickaxe, but I want to just make sure I got everything. I have one, but... Yeah, it's just, just in case. Alright. Oh! Oh! I completely missed this, didn't I? Bandage... Wait, did I... Nope. Okay. Muscle isn't cutting it. Gonna need a pickaxe. So good thing I've got one of those. Oh, they have uses too. So let's use this one. Ah, okay. It's one use, and then crouch down. Woo! Nice. Torch back out. All right, this seems, oh, got some rocks. They're free, you think there'd be more in here, but it's fine, oh, there is more. More rock. Man, take all, find where the cave leaves. Oh, encumbered tier one slows my movement. Okay, well, that's okay. I'm fine with the slower movement. Using up a ton of oil anyway, so. More dead bodies. Great, 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 great. Right. Ooh, seeds. Let's go ahead and eat those. Um, I do not get a lot from them, but... Do I, what other food? I got canned green beans. Salts, which just dehydrates me. Aloe cream, which... Let's, yeah. Chuno. Hard chewy, not much taste, but will do. Canned bell pepper. So I got some canned stuff too. Canned coffee. Okay. Let's keep my canned food. What has happened to here? Well, body got mummified. What's this say? Foreman's note four or five. You pulled me from the jaws of death, but I never found out your name. You deserve better. I'm sorry. It's a very short book. I'm sure these rocks will be useful. Torch away, we don't need it. Sun and temperature. Air climate, the sun. Intensity and high temperature of the Atacama Desert are the main threats to your survival. You can check sun exposure and temperature in the UI. Yep, sun exposure will increase while exposed to the sun and decrease in the shade. It can cause a sunburn which reduces your well-being. Yes, over time with the aloe cream, you can also use clay to increase your the resistance to sun exposure. Temperature can cause heat cramps and heat exhaustion, reducing your hydration and stamina by drinking and being in the shade. Okay, so... Oh, my well-being's up, and in the sun Ruins. it will... Maybe there's something here I could use. ...reduce my well-being. Okay. Oh, I have 50% protection with the aloe vera. That's good. Festuka? Festuka? Festuka. 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 Look at you. The desert didn't cut you any slack either, huh? Poor thing. Poor boy. Don't know what all this plant does, but it's nice to see there is such an abundance of plants in this game. So in survival games, you're just like, yep, here you are. Ooh. Um. I don't really need dirt that I know of. Actually. There might be something under here. I have a shovel. Nope, I just got some clay. Okay. Which I can use for sun protection, so. Plant fiber. Oh, I'm just getting plant fiber from it. I don't know what Festuka is. Okay. I got plenty of rocks. 
Uh, shovel once again. Get some more clay. Nope. Oh. Insects. Oh. Disassemble. I don't have any of those, so I can't. Okay. Collect some water. Drink some water. Collect some more water. Oh! Night already. Okay. Oh, I need... Yep. Yeah. Does get dark very quick in the desert, they say, so... Oh, wow. Ruins all the way out there. Oh! A water filter. Looks like someone left in a hurry. Or got chased out. That's cool. Okay, we can go down there, too. But I wanted to check out... Yeah. That's worthy. Indicator has me going. Looks like a small animal trap. Should be able to put it back together. Oh, an animal. Okay, so that's what those things are. Animal trap. Ooh, another pickaxe. Yes. Let's see. Can we uh, parkour in this game? Nope, we can't. Okay. Oh, hey. My torch is gone. I need oil, right? Is this it? Yes. Is that? Oh, okay. It's not a full thing on my torch, but it's still pretty high. Looks like someone was staying here recently. I hope they don't mind me squatting. <gasps> yes, I can pet the animal. Oh, aren't you adorable? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, what do we got in the barrel? I'm gonna take it all. Oh! Refuges are hidden throughout the entire map. They offer shelter from the harsh weather and provide bed. Sleeping allows you to recover energy in exchange for a portion of the character's stats. Okay. Campfire. Once fuel is added, it can be used for cooking greens found in the Atacama Desert. Crafting bench gives you access to creating medicines and tools. It can also be used to butcher animals. Trap. It's a chance to capture animals. Grants sources of food and leather. Hint. Any container can be used as a storage space. Be aware that some refuge structures may require to be repaired. Okay. Let me get stuff to repair then. Canteen's full. Table. Fireplace. Is that a workbench? Looks like they had the whole nine yards. Workbench. Wooden crate. Take it. No. Barrel. Nothing. Okay. Workbench, they say. Is this a workbench? A crafting table. Okay, yeah, let's craft some stuff. Uh, so I can make cloth, sharp knife, uncooked mortar. Almost a mortar needs some fire. Um... Go with a knife. Oh, sorry. Crafting food. Aloe juice, seasoned raw meat. I need raw meat. Wait, do I not? There was that dead animal I picked up. I guess I didn't. Okay, whatever. Let's make this real quick. Sorry. F. F to craft, not E. Oh, okay. Good. Now that I have the, now I can butcher the animal. So, all right. It's gonna use up my knife. So that's fine. Let's make one more knife then. So I can make seasoned beef, leather strips. Uh, let's do seasoned raw beef. More seasoned raw beef. Uh, leather strips. Glue. Okay. When you ain't got the tools or the nails, the skill you got glue should be useful. Okay better ropes. Maybe make a few bandages. Let's make just one of those. Then. You can make a wood stick, y'all, out of wood planks. Don't know. I don't know. I don't think I want to do that. Okay. Alright. I need to eat some food. Oh, I need wood sticks. Hey, guys. I need some wood sticks. Jesus. Who could have foreseen this? Okay, wood sticks, right? So, oh, F.
All right. Oh wait. There's new stuff to craft. Sorry. Cooking stick. Um. I have four. Bucks. We'll do one of those. Okay. Cook. Um. Oh, I don't want to put all of that. Can I? Hmm. Let's just do one of those. Oh wait, no, it's five of those. Gosh. Okay. Cool. Crouch down next to the fire. Oh, I can see my hands on the crouch. Find a way to send them out. And we'll do that probably in the morning. What else do I got? I want to try some beer. I don't know what I'll need glue for, but... Oh! Wait. Need to make sure we're not burning anything. 14 more seconds. Okay. TMD. We'll sleep after we cook and eat. Two. One. Zero. And I can just, yep, okay, that's not how fireplaces work, but it's fine. Okay, so it's burning down. All right. Let's try to eat and then rest. Okay, so canned food, leave that for later when I really need it. Right now, it's just insects. Crunchy, could go with a little honey. Okay, so that brings my food up a little bit. All right, seasoned steak. This grubs the bee's knees should at least uh should last me a while. Can't do better than this in a desert. I mean you could, but you know, no comment. Let's have two steaks for dinner. That's good, good for dinner. I need um Oh, what's the eye thing do? Let's do aid. Okay. I think just sleeping will fix the eye tiredness, but in the meantime, before I go to bed, yep, drink up. Always hydrate before you sleep. Okay. Mmm, okay. So I can save and wake up or wake up. We'll definitely save and wake up. Let's get that all the way. Yep, save and wake up. Okay. Now, of course, drink water. What are... Oh, just disassemble. I don't want to do that. Okay. Water, some food before I go out, probably would be a good idea. I should have cooked those last night. Whatever. Um mm, okay. And getting buzzed. I don't think we should be getting buzzed. Okay. Um we'll have one of my things canned oh. Oh, okay, because it's the coffee one. So I have coffee, bell pepper. Green beans. Okay. Well, we'll do one of those if I get hungry today. Okay. Anything else we can craft before we go, though? That may be of use. Wooden handle. Jeez. F. F, not E. Okay. Mic bump. It's fine. All right. I think we're fine, then. Um, yeah, we'll be fine, I'm sure. Nothing will go wrong today whatsoever. Ooh, more stuff. Well, this would have been useful last night. No, if I body what he got for me, bones. Okay. So now that I have new stuff, what can I make? All the same stuff. Perfect. All right. So exposure. We have to. Can't just, you know, leave him here. Got to pet him hey. one more time. Don't ask me Aww. what I ate for dinner last Aren't night. Aren't you adorable? 
Okay, that's perfect. Uh, empty. Find some way to send the mountain. Well, someone put stairs here. But also, it looks like there's stuff in that hut over there that I completely missed last night. These look shoddy enough. Maybe I can just rip them off the frame. Okay, good. Take all that. Oh, my sun exposure is pretty bad, ain't it? Clay! Can I use that right now? Fifty percent protection. All right, I like that. What is that? Metal hook. Metal. Yeah, metal be helpful because I can't. Baba, it's gotta be. I need to get his attention. Where? Apparently, there's someone I see somewhere that I can get their attention. in the distance. Right, I don't see it, but look up. I'm looking up. I see a bird. Maybe it's over that way. I don't know. We're going that way. But yeah, it looks like if I had a rope, I could repel. Do I not? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. There's a plane in the distance, I'm told, and I'm told to look up. I see a lot of birds, but no planes. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, okay, cool. Rope. Strong rope. Let's see if we can do that and if it will help us get downstairs. Because I am about to be in trouble with sun exposure. I'll still over encumbered. You know, sue me. All right, let's go down here, get some shade. Hold the repair, yep. Shortcuts, okay, it's a shortcut. I am baller as fuck at repelling, apparently. <laughs> okay, it's a shortcut, and there's less shade down here. I'm in a canyon, for God's sake, okay? Well, I'm about to be in trouble with the sun, so let's just get somewhere where we're in the shade, hopefully. Some shade Sun's in the shade. Burning me up. Yeah, I know, I'm finding shade. I'm finding shade. I'm trying to find shade. Oh, okay, there's some shade. Some stuff down here. Okay. Would be better to go to that building there. Or is there some cave to my left? That's a mine shaft. If I repel down that way, I should be able to find a way out. I'd rather find another way. Oh, come on, I need the shade. I need the shade. Okay, don't get over and covered in this game, because then you're screwed when it comes to shade. Or getting to shade quickly. Okay, but we are in shade now. And yes, I'll pick more stuff up. Sue me. Nothing. Okay, get me some water while we're sitting here. Alright, chest. Let's see what we do not need or have a lot of. Bones are better than sticks, but I haven't needed to use bones yet. Okay. Uh, makeshift hammer is useful. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be using coffee, right? Where's the Where's the fucking coffee? Where's the coffee? Canned coffee. Actually, no. Let's Let's take some coffee right now. 
Yeah, use that. Up and at him. Okay, that'll get me energized. Do I still have sun protection on? Yeah, I still have 50% sun protection. Okay. And I'm still encumbered. Okay, what is my... Oh gosh, I got a lot of weight to shed. Okay, in that case... It's the tools. It's the tools that are so heavy. So, let's uh, transfer that one. Uh-huh. Uh, pickaxes are heavy. Okay. Yeah, right. Am I encum I'm still encumbered. Okay. I thought I put both pickaxes up. Did I not? Hmm. Because it's just, just going to be right there. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. So, put all those in there. Yep. Transfer. Okay. Um. 28. Okay. Firstly, that I can use. That'll free up some weight there. That's fine. Okay. Do I have any sort of map? No. And if I press escape, no. Nope. Okay. So I can repel there, but that's not a good idea, I would guess. Huh. Was it require? Oh, well, so there's some sacks here that have nothing. Should have read that. That sack is. Nope. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, I need bolts, three hooks. Okay, that's that's a lot I would need to repel down there. So we're not definitely not even an option right now. Okay, that goes somewhere. This it looks like. I don't want to disassemble small base. Can't I just pick up small base? So another mine okay, well this mine shaft ain't got shit. It's got oil and a dead end. Alright. Yep. Dead end mine shaft here. All right. That it. That's about it. Okay. All right. Now time to. It's. it's mm. So it's saying there may be more refuges. Hey, there's that kind of shade I was thinking about earlier. Ooh, body and a plank. Sure. Lots of clay piles that I can't... I mean, I can dig with my hands, but that'd be a lot of energy. I say a lot of energy. I'm running everywhere. And encumbered again. Okay, this is... This seems like it's going to be a classic thing. Yeah, this game isn't so much. Is also quite a bit about. Ooh, aloe vera. Aloe vera. We want that. We want aloe vera. Okay. This game also seems to be just as much about inventory management as it is about you know survival management, not dying in the sun. Ooh, crafting table, right? Crafting table. Repair. It needs aloe vera. I don't. I won't even ask. Okay. Take all of that because why not? Any more aloe vera? There was plenty of aloe vera, right? Or am I just saying that there was plenty? I'm saying there was plenty. I picked up pretty much, I guess, all the aloe vera that was here. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. What can we craft, if anything? Aloe cream. And okay. So definitely want the aloe cream. Okay. Great. That's all we can do. Okay. I need to eat, it would seem. Yep. Use that. I want to save the canned food and let's eat the seeds right now. Insects. Yep. Get my protein in. Okay. Leather strips. Just, okay. I just have leather strips. Can I? Yeah. It's juice or cream. Okay. All right. Drink up before I go to sleep and time to sleep. Okay, this game seems pretty simple. Complicated with all the uh, stuff you gotta keep track of, but very simple. 
once you, you know, get used to keeping track of it. All right. Drink my water. Oh, I want to do aloe vera or clay. So, keep the sun off my skin. What does the cream do that's different? Okay, so we're just going to stick with... Oh, sorry. We're going to stick with this then. This clay gives me 50% protection. I don't think aloe gives me more protection. Yeah, okay. Cloth. Ooh, another mine. Can I go anywhere in this? Oh, this one is a little... This is a refuge, which, yes, needs stuff to be repaired to fix it. Oh, book. Shaman's Journal. The man from Rosasa has confirmed my suspicions. The Lamacrota Cortas have killed and killed, but have no way to survive. In time, they will die out in this place. It is a shame that I wasn't ready sooner. Perhaps I could have saved them. At least I can save this man. Take him to the caves. Do one good deed before I finish my shaman's dirty. One good deed before I die. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is a refuge here if I need it. Um, <laughs> is this a thing? Oxels? Flowers. Okay. And... Okay. I guess as long as I don't run into it, I'm fine. Okay. Stick. Thank you, stick. How? Okay. So it is very... So the whole light and the... You know, if you see shadow, you can stand in. You can probably stand in shadow, you know. Get you some sun protection. Ooh, clean water. Fill that up, take a sip of water. Fill it up again, okay. Tolia. All right, some flowers. Getting to be night, which is okay, I guess. Uh, oh, aloe! Aloe vera, we want that very much. Aloe vera and clay, all very important. Oh, there's the plane! Now that I see it, okay. Got two ways to go. This way, which I believe. Let's go this way real quick. Yeah, it really works. It's not too dark at night. Okay, so this is the canyon I saw earlier. All right. Take all of that and encumbered. Nice, of course. That's probably what's killing me with the weight is being encumbered. So let's get back to the mine shaft. And uh, while we're on our way, let's just uh. Alright, some damage to our well-being. Yeah, this can just seems like a short- <gasps> Is this a- Oh, it's a plank. Seems to be no enemies or anything in the game so far. Which, I mean, not complaining. Just observing. Yeah, I've run out of stamina, so I can't. Okay. Alright, crafting, what can we do? Hmm, okay. So, oh, shit, do I... So we took some damage, right? Um, let's see if just sleeping that off, which I really don't have... Oh, I don't have food or water. Great. This is going to go well. going to be a good sleep tonight. Give me 
get some water back. Okay, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yep, sleep. See what sleeping without eating does, how badly it goes for me. Alright, not too bad. Didn't need to recover so much energy. Alright, I'm going to leave it here, though. So, yeah, this game is definitely detailed. Um, I don't know how big it is or how much more of the story there is, but like I said, there's no map. You get your inventory and your stats. <laughs> Pretty much it. So, yeah. It's good Good to see. Very well done, self-contained game where it's, it's not just survive. It's like, hey, like, survive and work your way out. It's the 1930s. You crashed a plane. Try and get another plane's attention. And, you know, maybe there's something going on with the indigenous people here, it seems, or something. So, be interesting. I, I gotta say, damn, that is a bright sky. That is a very bright, very populated sky with stars. I'm loving it. You can even see the moon tracking across the sky there with some nighttime clouds. Very nice game. Very nice game. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to leave right here, gamers. Thank you for watching. Feel free to do all the stuff. I have been a formal bust. Until next time, take care and drink some H2O, gamers.